the plant village team here, um, the leader here and farmer here. What is the biggest challenge to do farm here? Jamani ana ana anauliza uh, changamoto changamoto kubwa ya kufanya kilimo hapa ni ya kilimo hapa ni nini? Kama mwaka mwaka, mwaka jana kuja mwaka huu mvua zilikuwa ni chache sana wakati wa mvua tu wakati wa mavuno tumepanda mahindi yamefika kiasi cha kuweza kuwekea mbolea mvua ikakosekana kabisa tunaweka mbolea bila mvua baadaye mvua imekuja kunyesha mahindi yameshaasirika hizo ndio changamoto tunazopata uh, dream team members nadhani mnasikia kinachoangalia hapa anauliza wakulima wanaweza hizo changamoto one of it being uh, global climatic classes that are, you understand drought or whatever vitu ambavyo vinafanya at the end watu wanapata uh, very juicy harvest that's why i'm asking so if you have a uh, issue a challenge with you have less crop yield because your soil is not fertilized well you have a challenge with the climate change you have the challenge with the drought and also the economy because right now you growing crop the same mix do they grow maize here? Yes, yes. a lot. Okay, crop. so the maize crop, what do you sell? The seed. Correct? Yes. And what else do you have? You have crop, you have stock, which is you do not use it for anything and it's not valuable. So we want you to have some value from that. Uh, my name is Tade Robert Mingire. I am a leader of Planty Veggie Dream Team Tanzania. Actually, today we have uh, we have been having a training, uh, the training which will take uh, place in Kasolo, and you are going to have the training done in two uh, sessions. Uh, first one today we have started with the practical session, and tomorrow we'll be having the uh, theoretical session at Kasolo. So right here in uh, Kasolo Ward, this is the place where we have done our demonstration today for budget producing, uh, budget making. And we had different participants, like we have uh, government officials, we had Dream Team Tanzania members, we had Oam, oh, um, Kwan Promtara, all the way from Thailand. She is one of the country manager and biochar certifier. So, and also we had farmers, a lot of farmers, as you can see around. So, uh, we did demonstration, we, ma we made biochar, practical, we started by digging the trench, as you can see behind. And we collected a lot of biomass, as it you can see there. So together, together with all participants, we participated for practically, physically, and we also did it uh, practically. As we, we have been involved in the whole process, like uh, 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 collecting the biomass, you see, lighting the fire in the trench, uh, everything. At the end, we made. Biocha, which is so fun. Okay, the process where is for us. First of all, we dig the trench, the trench, like the hole. We dig the hole, like as you can see uh, there. After digging the hole, we just took the maize scapes, we put it down there. Thereafter, we lighted fire, and when lighted the fire, make sure that the fire uh, burns perfect that they, they that they produce less smoke after after doing that we keep adding we keep adding maize cones adding adding and adding until uh, we get what we wanted which is biocha i'm john mayeka and i'm based in kenya and i coordinate the major activities on biocha production um working across the supply chains from making the kilns um getting the biomass and also coordinating uh, people who produce the biochar. Um, I think in the face of climate change, um, uh, every farmer should think about adopting usage of biochar because um, the importance of biochar, um, there are so many. So you see the cost of inorganic fertilizers are uh, so high. So farmers need to adopt different methods and one of the methods that these farmers could adopt to improve their production is through the usage of biochar. So once you mix biochar with uh, either compost or uh, manure, you get biochar fertilizer and uh, it's very cheap and farmers could use it in their farms to produce um, different crops. Uh, so the other thing is that biochar holds a lot of water. 
therefore it's the best in terms of um, issues of climate change so when there's a uh, increased uh, drought biochar is, is um, able to hold that water and also it is able to release the nutrients to the crops um, over a long period of time as compared to inorganic fertilizers kwa jina naitwa Zablon Anthony Kisanganya ni mkulima wa kazi wa Lusesa kimsingi hii elimu tumepokea vizuri tumeelewa tumeangalia ni jinsi gani biochar inatengenezwa pasipo kutumia gharama yoyote ile ya kifedha ni vitu tu ambavyo unaweza ukavikusanya hata kutoka kwenye mashamba yako ukatengeneza bila kutumia nguvu yoyote wala mtaji yoyote kwa hiyo ni njia rafiki kwa mkulima